are you guys? Uh, welcome back to another doll review video and this time we are going back to Rainbow High uh, with this girl. Here she is and her name is Emmy. Emmy, I think that's how it's uh, pronounced. Emmy. It's E-M-I. So I'm guessing it's Emmy. Uh, so I haven't actually had the chance to dig out um, into the world of series three yet um, because um, I've been too busy working on my album and getting it finalized um, for release um, soon um, which you can check all my music out on Spotify, iTunes or Amazon Music um, under Dwayne AJ so make sure you do that please. Um, so anyway this is the first doll I've asked for a few for Christmas as well so that we can try and get ahead of ourselves here because it's getting crazy I cannot keep up with the release of these dolls so I've kind of just decided to stop looking for them and if I see them and I'm feeling like I deserve a treat doll treats it all the time and Disney store just means treat forever it's not even a treat with Disney store dolls it's just I must have which is so bad um, but I'm trying to turn the Rainbow High Dolls into treat only. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, in Tesco's at the moment, Tesco Extra here in the UK, they are on sale if you have a club card, which is brilliant because they are £30. Um, and these are brand new, I think, out here because I've not seen them yet. Uh, so I went up to the till. It wouldn't scan. Um, and then I found out that um, they had a club card discount so I actually got six pounds off so I got it for 24 pounds so you can I couldn't complain so I was very happy um, I got this one first because I've asked for Daphne for Christmas and I think also I've asked for I think she's called Marigold which is the yellowy sort of goldy looking one um, so I ended up getting this one uh, because I thought she's a bit different and um, I did I did quite like this one um, so let's get her out of the box. First of all, let me just show you the back with the other girls on there. Sorry about the glare, guys. But these boxes are so shiny. Um, so anyway, let's get her out of the box and do a review on that. The So I've got scissors I'm sitting on, which is probably really dangerous. <laughs> um, I just want to say, um, with usual doll lines, the first ones are always the best. And then they sort of get more cheap and you know your quality dips and it's really frustrating and annoying and yeah but with rainbow high on the other hand we do not have this issue if anything i 100 percent believe the dolls are um they they get better with quality so i'm just going to give you a little close-up of what did I say? She's called Emmy again. Um, I'm not sure if her. Oh, I can't even say the word. Enthicity. <laughs> Enthicity of her character. I think she's Asian, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, like I said with the quality, um, other than her hair is a little bit. Okay, so there's no glue at all no glue look at this gorgeous hair it's just coming out a bit but that might be because where i cut the ties and accidentally cut a little bit of the hair which sometimes can happen um also like with the new disney store box dolls um they have no plastic so you don't have to cut any ties they're so easy um i don't think the rainbow highs are going to be doing anything like that just yet but it it's definitely a good idea because um, there is a lot of plastic with these dolls. Um, so anyway, let me just show you her face. Now I know a lot of you have probably already seen these gorgeous dolls because they're always released first in the US and we don't get them until months and months later. So there's her gorgeous little face. That's better, I have to show you better there. Uh, she's got like purpley blue eyes. Yep. Because uh, obviously her colour is like a purpley colour so she goes along with obviously violet um are we gonna throw in avery with that set and also um oh no 
Crystal. <laughs> I'm forgetting their names because it's been so long. Um, yeah, but um, she's got gorgeous little um, colours in her hair. Um, and she has a really beautiful face. I love these new eye sculpts as well, rather than the great big round ones. Um, these ones kind of look a bit more prettier, I think. Hmm. Well, again, this is another thing that has happened in time, is that now we have all jointed heads. Um, you know, they can move. This one's a bit stiff. But, yeah, no, 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 it's not. It's fine. She can look down and she can look back. Um, and move her head tilt side to side. That there is a brilliant quality because that was one thing I think the first two series dolls are missing um, and it's a little bit disappointing when you're trying to do pictures. Um, anyway, anyway, let's move on to her clothes. So her clothes are obviously all like a burgundy sort of purple colour. Um, I love her little hoodie that says rainbow on it. She's got some like beads there. Um, she's got a bag but it is like it's it's attached so I don't know if it's supposed to be a design or an actual bag you I don't know I know these rainbow high dolls don't usually come with accessories which is fine because they come with an extra outfit um, and accessories in my opinion just end up in a box um, I love the little um, detailing on on here as well I think she's got one on that side little buckles um, and obviously if you move her hair up, it, she's got a hood. But again, they are not functional hoods because they come apart. Um, so you can take them off. Um, I love the little zips on her on her arms. They're cute. Um, yeah, it's like a nice over overly big hoodie. Um, then obviously she's got um, little painted hands, little nails. Cute. Love that. Um, and then she's got her little um, burgundy sort of skirt. It's quite basic. It's just like a little skirt, really. And that is, yeah, there's nothing else more than that. Um, I love the shoes. I have to say the shoes are absolutely gorgeous. They're like knee-high boots. Um, everyone loves a knee-high boot. Um, they also come with ribbons, tied ribbon up the top, which is super cool. Um, and they are platforms, obviously, like Spice Girl shoes, which we love. Um, and her articulation, again, in the knees, they're better as well, as you can see. Um, they move uh, much further up. Um, obviously, she can do the splits. <laughs> um, and also, she has... This one doesn't have articulation in the bust, which Jet Dawson does. So that would be something that you guys could bring in a bit more. Um, and yeah, she's got articulations in the wrist. They're a bit stiff, um, which is the same with all Rainbow High sort of girls. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is change her up and put her in her second outfit. Okay, so that was fun. <laughs> so, um, right, so let me show you. So here she is in her second outfit. Um, I really like the second outfit. Um, I think I prefer it to the first look. Um, I love this little jacket um, pullover top hoodie thingy. Um, also, this piece underneath was a separate piece, which is obviously always the way with um, Rainbow High. They always give us nice separate pieces. Um, again, the hood is not functional and you obviously pull it apart to put it on. Um, I love the little, I thought these were shorts, but they're not shorts, they're a little skirt with uh, dungarees that I'm, you, I can imagine you could put over the top if you'd want. Um, and also, now this was the fun bit, very fun bit shall I add, um, the shoes and the little socks. Now these are ribbons, so I had to try and incorporate how they looked from the packaging, which was really difficult as you can see. Um, so yeah, so I do think I prefer these actually than the, the, the um, boots or more like I'm not gonna be bothering to take them off again. <laughs> I think we'll display her like this. Um, she also obviously comes with her stand, which I haven't unboxed, um, including her hangers in there. 
uh, that's not really that exciting. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that is my review on Emmy, guys. Um, again, absolutely love these dolls. They're really, really addictive when you come to collecting them. Um, sometimes I get kind of get bored with collecting them, and then they release like these really cute pictures, and I'm just like, okay, maybe we should get some more. Um, so yeah, I think it's something that um, I think in the future, um, if you've got these put away, you know, and they've stopped selling them, you're gonna regret not keeping them. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this review, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. -bye. <laughs>